Yeah, I'm Scott Koss. I'm the channel manager for Atlantic Broadband. For those of you who are not familiar with Atlantic Broadband, a lot of people call us like a mini Comcast. Um, we're known for Miami Beach primarily, but I'm going to show you how we're, we've been really expanding and growing a lot and uh, looking forward to a big 2018 and moving forward. So, um, you know, I, I've been on the direct side a lot. I started with Atlantic Broadband on the direct side. And, uh, you know, it started out as a cable company. They made their money on residential. Then they got into the business market. I'm not sure they were really caught up to the business market, but then they caught up and then they got into doing channel sales. So they had somebody doing it, it wasn't really effective. Now I'm in charge of it and working with TCG, working with some people in this room, we're really, really probably tripled sales on the channel side inside of about six months. So it's going really, really well um, and we're growing. So, you know, Dan mentioned Miami Beach, but we've made some recent acquisitions that are going to expand that territory even more, which is really, really exciting. So a little bit about Atlantic Broadband. It's a $460 million company. Um, you know, we're owned by Kojiko, which is a Canadian cable company. They're a $4 billion company. Um, and they're, I think they're the fourth largest cable provider in Canada. And the relationship is really good because you know, they're funding our builds. I'm going to talk a little bit about our fiber builds, which uh, I don't think people even really know uh, how much fiber we're doing. We started out, I was just telling Dan, last year we were averaging two or three fiber deals a month. Now we're averaging 15. So inside of a year, that's a big jump for a small company. So, um, you know, we're, we're heavily competitive on that. So. Fiber Solutions now available up to 10 gigs. So, you know, we're, we're making our mark, especially in Miami and growing out of Miami. Sorry about this. So we're part of a $2 billion family of companies. And, you know, there's a wide range of things we do, but really what I'm, primarily what we do is coax and fiber. And so we're, we're the last mile. We are the, uh, the provider. It's our fiber. We're not running off of anybody else's fiber. Um, or coax, so we are the last mile provider. So Metro Ethernet up to 10 gigs. Uh, we've been doing a lot of point to points lately. Uh, we do full voice services as well. Um, and uh, broadband, so broadband, we just introduced a one gig broadband. I'm gonna show you some pricing. It's really, really competitive. But um, we went from really 120 was our max speed on, bro on coax, then it went to 250, and we just introduced a one gig over 50 megs, which is really great. We're selling a lot of it. Customers love it, um, and you know, it's, it's making a mark. So any questions on that, like voice or anything on, on products, or what, what we do, or you know, anything that you guys want to know as far as what products we can offer? Well, as far as uh, hosting, um, are you guys doing like the full gamut as far as supporting all the, the major um, hardware uh, devices? Yeah, so on our hosted platform, it's, it's rather new. Um, I don't want to talk too much about it because I know there's hosted providers in the room and we don't want to, like when we get a deal, we don't go in and start selling our hosted product if you guys are bringing us into a deal, believe me. So I'm careful with that. However, um, we do have a hosted product. It's a, a Polycom is, is, the, is the hardware. So. Um, and we could, t we could talk a little bit more about that, but uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, did I see Doral up there? Doral? Yeah, so one of the territories that we're we just moved into is Doral and Wynwood. So we didn't have that before, and we've sold a bunch of fiber in Doral area. So, so obviously, um, like how deep in Doral? I mean, you all over Doral, or are you just kind of just creeping? Not quite yet. I'll, I can get you a map. I don't, ha I don't have that map with me. That's kind of new. Um, but again, so it's a good question, right, because before, one of the reasons that we weren't doing a lot of fiber is because they were taking a look at one deal and saying, how much is it going to cost us to get to that customer, right? The build is $40,000, but the, the revenue is only six fifty a month. It doesn't make the payback, right? So, you know, I'm watching all these deals get lost because we can't make payback because, uh, and I've heard somebody in the room earlier say, you know, they lose deals because then you go, well, instead of, 650 it's going to be 1350 and now you're out of the game you can't compete so we took a look at it and said well let's look at all of the deals we're working on and 
figure out that over the course of a year, are we making money or not? And that's what we've been doing, and that's why we've <coughs> been able to, you know, not just take a look at what it costs for that one deal, but look at the last 10 deals we did and see if we're making money. Right, so it's been really good and it's expanded the network a lot. So the way Doral came to about was that we did that. We, we built some fiber and anything that's a quarter of a mile off of our fiber line, we're gonna take a look at and probably build it and not charge the customer and keep the price normal. So um, if that, that model, we call it standard pricing model. If it's when within a quarter of a mile of our fiber, we price it at a standard price and we do the deal. And if, you know, if we go out there and we run into something unexpected, we're not passing that on to the customer. Yes, sir? Well, we go from, you know, South Beach all the way up to, uh, we're, we're in, you know, uh, North Miami Beach all the way up. So, I'm gonna show you a map, by the way. South Miami, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna show you a map in a few minutes. Sure. No, nope, it's just a regular coax. So, yep, yeah, if, it's, if we can get coax to that building or that suite, you can get the one gig. Not unless the customer needs it, yeah. Well, but we don't do that, we don't do that wiring. Yeah, we don't do that wiring. So that would be on the customer if, if they needed it. But, w but we bring it right into the suite, so. Mm -hmm. had Atlantic Broadband, they had cable, and they had a T1 for backup, and their, you know, their cable would go down, right? Mm -hmm. So this T1 could not support the entire hotel's Wi-Fi. And the oh. hotel owner told me, hey, I don't give a shit about my phone, but I do care about that Wi-Fi, and the 1.5 meg gig isn't supporting it. So I took their existing bills, they were under contract, and we got a quote for a 50 meg fiber. It was installed two weeks after we submitted the order. The partner got full credit for all of the fiber we upgraded, mm -hmm. ditched the T1, so we ultimately saved them money because you know they're paying five, six, seven hundred bucks for a T. So we ditched the T, put them on fiber, they on a, they don't have a backup right now, but you know, they're on a 50 meg fiber and Atlantic Broadband brought it in like, I'm not even lying, like two weeks. And yeah. Solid, never had problems again. They're using their TRI service. So just food for thought that you can upgrade any of these hotels and like the coax on the beach segregates with salt, you know, and it's these weird, you know, just like Comcast, you have outages. So it's a great time to look at those hotels and a lot of them are still on coax. Yeah, well, yeah, and that, that's a big market for us right now, the hotels on Miami Beach. And the, you're right, they're all going to fire. By the way, that's Cynthia, everybody. Thank you for the endorsement. I appreciate it. So, um, so, so actually but by the way, two weeks, do don't quote me on two weeks, but <laughs> that right, with right. the building was probably right there. <laughs> Yeah. Three month process. It was they were all over getting that fiber to the door. Yeah. What is your period? What is your time frame? Ninety days. I don't process I don't promise it under ninety days. Do Our issue in, in Miami Beach especially is permitting. Mm -hmm. It's not us, it's the permitting. Yeah, this was a clean order. Yeah, if it doesn't need permitting and there's no obstructions, we can get it in rather quickly. But we're having problems with permitting in all honesty. Yeah. So but just curious, so we can do that for any existing client? And if we get, if we can upgrade them to fiber and they're on coax? Not necessarily. Most likely, but not necessarily, because some buildings, we're ready for co we have coax in the building, but we're not near it on fiber. But again, if it's in a quarter, within a quarter of a mile of where our fiber is, we'll build to it to upgrade a customer. So you just qualify, right, you qualify basically the address, and if it's, uh, if it's available, we can- Absolutely, yeah, I would love and, to do that. Even if they're in the middle, or they just signed an agreement a year ago, or whatever it is. Yeah, and you'll get paid full commission on that. We won't subtract what they were paying the coax. Absolutely, we would upgrade them. Yeah. And, old and and we're extremely competitive on price on the fiber. So we I haven't lost on price, let's put it that way. Nobody's ever pushed back and said, Oh my god, you're way out of whack on your fiber pricing. Um, it's quite the opposite. So um, so yeah. So that's a great question and we could do we we love doing that as a matter of fact. 
We'd love to take every coax customer and upgrade them to fiber. That'd be great. So, um, but intervals, yeah, 90 days. So um, we promised 90 days, you know, but Miami Beach is a really peculiar area because everything's being built. You know, some t construction is going on next door and you can't get, you know, underground. So, and again, permitting is a, is a big deal for us. So um, there was another point you made I wanted to... Yeah, Doral, Doral's only fiber right now. We don't have coax in Doral. Fiber. Yeah. Would Doral, would fiber Doral, have Doral we have coax and fiber. I'm sorry, I'm not Doral. Uh, Wynwood. Wynwood. Wynwood, we have fiber and coax. South Miami. South Miami as well, yeah. Well, we've always been in South Miami. Right, so right. these are new areas. Oh. Doral and Wynwood are both new areas. Fiber yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sunset, that whole area. They can, you know, if they upgrade to fiber, they can technically still keep the cable as a backup. That happens a lot. We, as a matter of fact, we recommend that. You know what I mean? So uh, the customers do that quite often. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. That that's that's how we do it. So you know, I'll look at the address. I'll see where it is. If if it's even questionable. Now, there's other cases where it may not be within a quarter mile, but we'll do an evaluation. It may take f five or six days. We'll do a construction evaluation. If the cost is a little bit more, the price may be a little bit more, but we kind of, we look at that, we might look at that area and say, hey, this deal's gonna be expensive to build, but it'll open up this whole, you know, can of worms in that area. That way we're not, we're saying, okay, we're not gonna pass it on to the customer. Let's build that area because it's good for Atlantic Broadband to do that. So, the, send, it, send it to me for sure, yeah. I'm gonna show you a map so you can see, you know, what you should send me, and, I, and I'll tell you, send it all because you never know. So, good stuff. So, here's the Miami map, actually. So, basically, that's where we are. This doesn't show Doral or Wynwood yet, but basically, this is the map of Miami. And you go all the way up to the coast of New York, don't you? No, uh, I'm going to talk about some acquisitions we've made, but no, we're, we're in a couple of other states. Um, but this is more, and I'm going to show that to you, but this is the Miami map. The, the, you know, for everybody in this room, this is probably the most, you know, uh, relevant uh, area, right? So, but anything, you know, in this area, bring it to me and we'll see if we can do it. You know, I can't guarantee we can do them all, but we can do a lot of them, you know? Sure. Is, is there a possibility of uh, direct getting involved with an opportunity that, you know, Somehow Funny you should mention that. Out. It happens. Um, and it, it's interesting because I was just telling Dan, I've had two separate opportunities where it was two agents in each deal. So there's, there's the, you know, th when, when something's on the street, it's out there. But yes, we have a direct team. But when I get it, I, I don't underquote them or overquote them. If I see that there's something in the system, I'm still going to quote it, and then it's first ink gets it. So we, we do have it. Direct people don't like it. But it happens that a direct rep is in a deal. It doesn't matter who's first, who's last. Whoever gets the ink on that deal wins the deal. Now, if I go, hey, they've quoted $900 for that fiber circuit. That's what I'm going to quote you. Um, you come back and say, hey, the guy's ready to sign. Can you do it for $850? I can do that. You know what I mean? If I have the flexibility without. But apples to apples, I'm going to quote it the same. And our coax pricing isn't flexible either. So, it, you know, that... That price is the price. But if you get the ink first, it's your deal. Yep. All right. So that's Miami. So here's some other states. Eastern Connecticut. This is a, was a Metrocast area that we purchased. So we have territory in Connecticut. Um, let's see if I have all the territories up there. Maryland, Delaware. Cumberland, Maryland. Pennsylvania Network. So those are South Carolina, Aiken especially right around that area. You can see they're small areas, but you know, so we can do some deals out of state, you know, in these areas. So, you know, so again, uh, I think I'm, I'm a little bit redundant here, but we can also do point to points. We're in the data centers, so we can do point to points out of the data centers. Um, and you know, we're, we're flexible and pretty nimble. Oh, you know what, Cynthia, you made a point before about, uh, she said, you know, our guys were right on that deal. So, um, you know, I have a very, very good relationship with our technical <laughs> operations people. I know them personally. 
Um, if you've ever been in Miami, you see the trucks driving around. I know all those guys. So if I need to expedite something or if I need to get something done, if you have a customer that's having an issue or whatever, um, I, I have a direct pipe to the people that can help us. Yeah, and I thought that was a good advantage that you have over Comcast just in that the construction people is like communicating with the client and yeah. there's this dialogue going on. And I was like, wow, is that really going to be Yeah, it's interesting. You don't typically see with other carriers. So I thought that was good. You're right. You kind of white glove. You never see that with Comcast. I don't right. So I thought yeah. the, guy, no, the guy was bringing out the fiber involved. was actually oh. calling the client, hey, I'm on the curb, I'm bringing it in. I don't know. I was like, wow. He does like that. He gets involved. He gets the engineer yeah. involved. Yeah. So, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sure, thanks. Um, that is a big advantage. Um, and it, it's interesting because our guys, you know, we, we'll run an evaluation. Well, let's say we get a fiber deal. We run an evaluation to see what our costs are going to be to do it, either before or after the sale. And, you know, our technical guys go out and they get to know these customers in Miami. And th I mean, my tech ops director, some of the customers call his cell phone directly to get things done. So it happens. And, and by the way, that happens in the other states too, I've noticed, because I've done deals out of state. I'm not mistaken, you guys did a huge upgrade on the MacArthur that married there. Yeah, we just, we, yeah, MacArthur Causeway. Yeah, we just sold Jungle Island. We're doing the whole project at Jungle Island. I don't know if you guys know, but that got sold. Yeah, Jungle Island. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jungle Island is, they're making it like a mini Disneyland. It's going to be unbelievable. They're putting millions and millions of dollars into that, and our fiber runs right by it, and we got the deal. So it's pretty cool. Cool. Awesome. Well, we'll probably be working with you on that a little bit. Yeah, we're getting the plans for the whole thing soon, so I'll, I'll bring you into that. Yeah, yeah. We just had a meeting with them. So we're working on some... What's that? I just spoke to them on the way over here. Good, good. Yeah. Well, great. We can work together on that. That's perfect. They should have backup. I mean, it's it's because they're running. I mean, if you see what's going on on that island, you'd, you'd be amazed what's going on there. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, so good stuff. Um, yeah, sorry. On the TV side, we get paid on MBU, uh, obviously hotel, uh, anything. Yeah, we, we have a bulk team that does that separately. But if the deal comes through me, yes, you guys will get paid. Well, yep. Time, oh, yeah. You got to what? Got to get the MDU approved first, and then it can go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you know, there's a lot that goes into it. I don't, I, 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 honestly, I don't know that much about that side. But I'm working on a couple of deals where I have to bring them in, um, and they sort of put the proposal together. Now, sometimes on those deals, there's a big cost involved, so they might subtract some of the costs and pay you a commission on you know the difference. It depends. Some deals, not at all. So yeah. it sort of depends on the deal, but yes, of course, bring it to me. Then if we do the deal, you'll absolutely get paid on it. Yeah, and we, you know, in Miami on the MDUs. By the way, we just did one in West Palm and we did one in Sunrise, big uh, Century Village in West Palm. <laughs> so that's a huge deal for us. It's a huge MDU you deal, <coughs> but the cool thing is now we're bringing our network into West Palm. I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna talk about something else too, but even before that. Um, so we can do, it. we're in like that Vista Parkway area, parts of Sunrise and parts of Hallandale Beach now. So you can see we're, we're edging up the coast here, and it's good. Yeah, so it's really good stuff. So thanks for the questions, a great question. So um, I think I've covered most of this, right? So what I wanted to talk about is that we just, we made two really great acquisitions. One is Metrocast. I don't have the map yet. These are all really new, so I, I honestly, I have limited information, but New Hampshire, uh, Maine, Virginia, I believe, we've purchased Metrocast. So we're going to have a lot more territory to sell in. So when will that be sellable? Because uh, that's always been kind of a thorn in the side for some partners while you're looking at Yeah. Really soon on the Metrocast. I'm not 100% sure, but really soon. I mean, that deal is closed, okay. so we should be able to sell it really soon. I'll let you know. So you okay. Metrocast in another state. You said in, in Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. 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 And we've been selling to yeah. Connecticut. In fact, five other states. That's correct. As well. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I get m quite a few in the little pocket of Aiken, South Carolina, yep. which is pretty cool, yep. and Cumberland, Maryland, a lot, <coughs> and uh, and in Connecticut as well. So and Virginia even before the Metrocast deal. Correct. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. And then the other acquisition we just made, and you guys are the first to know because it's been kind of quiet, but we just purchased Fiberlight. 
So you're going to see this map in from Miami all the way up to North Palm Beach. We're going to be able to sell fiber through the, the fiber light network. But the cool thing is, somebody was saying to me before, the frustration was, if it was off of that network and the building wasn't lit, they were like, you know, it was too expensive to do. So hopefully, and I think, my hunch is, we're going to take the same philosophy. They did, but... Um, they weren't very liberal. With right, the they didn't do correct. it that far. Correct. Like correct. So I think we're going to employ that same quarter of a mile philosophy <coughs> to the fiber light network. <coughs> That deal is closed, just got closed, it's been announced. Um, however, um, I think it's gonna be six months probably before we can really sell it, but if you have an opportunity, let me know because it's a possibility we could do it. We're working on that. Now they really give you great pricing. I saw them saying same deal in buildings where they are on net. Yep. I'm sure we are, yeah. I mean, you know, we're really competitive now, so I, I think when that... The edges yeah. that they have, like in Colo, I sold a gig for 900 bucks. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were able to really customize solutions to win the deal. Yep, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm not that familiar with their pricing yet. Like, literally, this just happened. Like, you know, I'm not even sure I'm allowed to announce this today, to be honest with you. So, <laughs> so I might be in trouble. I'm not sure. <laughs> the, the, it's going to be a while before we can build coax uh, fiber. I don't know, um, but even even with Atlantic Broadband, people are asking me for 20 megs, and I have construction costs. I'm like, if I sell you 20, it's going to be the same cost as 100, so I'll give you 100. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. And but I, I'll find out for you. I, I, that I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, anything else? Any other questions on the the network, on the fiber, or anything like that? You got a lot. I love this. This is. I hope I get a deal out of this. <laughs> no, and, and, and again, this may be a stupid question, but is it whatever area Atlantic Broadband is in, bless you, if Comcast is not in and vice versa? No. You guys go and Great question. Those days are over. That somehow uh, encroachment happened and the game changed. So that's not necessarily true anymore. That used to be the case. Um, and that's why we were sort of known as this little, little Miami company, you know, if, if we have something, maybe we'll give it to them. But I will say uh, Comcast, from what I understand, is having a little trouble penetrating the Miami, especially Miami Beach market. But they're there and, and they're working. So we're working against them quite a bit, but we're winning a lot of deals. So, you know, is that a question or a yawn? No. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was, I, <laughs> I thought you were like this. Um, so. I think I have this, uh, okay, so here's some coax pricing just so you guys have it, right? Um, and I can always get this to everybody, but um, I didn't even put the 25 on there, but basically with the modem, you're at 80 bucks for a 50 over four, 110 for a 120 over 15, 150 for a 250 over 20, and the one gig over 50 is 210 bucks. Yeah, so I mean, you really, you know, you can't beat that. It's a good deal. When are we going to start making money? I mean, we're send them to me. Go get it. I'm here. I'm here. You got my cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong static IP. Or static IP, how many? Tw static IP is 1 for 21, it's 3 for 46. I know people don't like that. What? There's nothing I can do about that. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, no, 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 no,
our pricing on fiber is really good, so if I work it in, you won't even know the difference. You know, you no. We don't, do, we don't do routers or managed routers on fiber. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, sorry about the IPs, but that's out of my control. Um, let's see, what else do I got? That's it. I don't have a door, I have a raffle prize in there. I don't have a door prize, wow. Um, so, you know what, I wanted no, to show you. No, 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 no. Sure. Is there any spiffs on the coax? And oh, the, uh, the yeah. Standards? So my computer's Thank you. Great, great question. It's a great question. It's a great. Let's get down to it. That's a great question. Um, the uh, my computer's on the fritz because I can't show it. We have a one month MRC bonus that's been out for a while, but it's continued. I don't see it ending. So anything over two hundred fifty dollars in MRC, two hundred fifty dollars and above, you get a one month. MRC bonus. So if you sell a thousand dollar deal, you're going to get a check for a thousand plus your regular commission. Absolutely. Right. And anything two hundred fifty dollars and over. And I'm working on that too to get the bonus to be for everything. But they want it two fifty and above. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> we're, we're we're sort of coming into the into the uh, uh, the new age here as a company. You know, they weren't really savvy on the channel. I'm trying to push them into the, you know, into the real world, and it's getting there, but uh, I'm, I'm working on it, so, you know, and you guys are helping me a great deal. Yeah, so Kojiko, we're, we're working on that as well, so how do we sell in Canada through Kojiko's network? The, stay tuned for that, because it, that's going to happen. You said you bought Metrocast, but you said you bought two companies, you were the other one. Fiberlight was the other one. Metrolight, Metrocast, and I had the Fiberlight maps, uh, I can't get it on my computer, I apologize for that, but... Um, so yeah, there's a one month MRC bonus and uh, people have been taking advantage of that and somehow, sometimes, working a couple of static IPs in there to get the one gig over at the I 250. I want the, yes. the static IPs at 100 each, man. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, that, that's all I got. I had some other things, but my computer's on the fritz and I don't have a memory to remember all that Hopefully stuff. So. Yeah, after some <laughs> <laughs> exactly, they'll give me a better laptop. <laughs>